And at what point did it come crashing down? It was it was a post on Facebook really that uh, brought things to light, wasn't yes, it? Yes. Um, uh, I mean, before that, we should say you did find out he had an affair. Yes, I did find out he had an affair, um, and he had put it down to the fact that. Uh, he was missing his children, he was missing his life in Senegal. He was only in the UK because of me and that he would go for counselling, which in fact he did. Mm -hmm. And I gave him a second chance. But I had only uncovered the surface of what was going on. I didn't know there were all these other layers yeah. underneath all these other secret lies. What lives. did you find? Um, what I found was, uh, first of all, he, uh, a friend of his was staying with me at the time and uh, he said to me, do you trust your husband? Do you, do you really know what he's, he's been up to and uh, how he's been using women? And of course I was a bit shocked um, and then I started to start questioning things um, and through the power of Facebook I was able to uncover his real story and the real story is that we've actually been able to track down, including myself, four or five wives since 2002. Mm. that he actually was married to an African woman that did die. One child belonged to her. Then he married a Dutch woman in a monogamous relationship, in a civil relationship, who I'm now in contact with her family. And it turned out he'd played the same widower trick with her as well and stolen her money. And then he um, uh, married a couple of months after the Dutch wife, this African woman that he's still with had two children and then there's a possibility he married another English woman who doesn't know whether she got married or not to him because she gave money for the purpose mm -hmm. and then he married me in 2007 so <laughs> but the thing is that <laughs> it's 2002 2007